hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you what i eat in a work day i am starting off this morning with some hot lemon water i do this every single morning it is so good for you helps wake up your organs wake up your system and gets you ready for the day lemon is super detoxifying to the body as well Next up is coffee. I am now grabbing my inulin fiber. I put this in my coffee every morning. It dissolves perfectly, no flavor at all either, which is great. It's just an added fiber supplement that I take and love. I've been taking it for about eight months now and it makes me feel really good. Fiber is so important and the older I get, the more I realize that. This is the coffee that I'm gonna be drinking today. I use Oatly oat milk. And I top it with cinnamon. Next, I'm going to be prepping my breakfast. I don't eat breakfast at home. I bring it to work with me. I just take oatmeal, so I put the oats in a container. I grab a banana, and this is the almond butter I use and love. So I take that with me to work. Now I am making my lime water. I take a big Yeti full of lime water and sip on it throughout the day. I love it. I love how it adds a little bit of extra flavor to my water. Now that I am at work and I have a moment, I'm going to make my oatmeal. I just use the silk unsweetened almond milk that we have in the fridge at work. Next, I'm going to cut up my banana to put on top of my oatmeal. and scoop my almond butter on top. I also add this flax cereal by the Ezekiel brand on top just to add some extra flax into my oatmeal and to my breakfast. I keep this actually in the floor of my desk at work because I have oatmeal every day. This is what it looks like. It's really good, just adds a little bit of a crunch to your oatmeal as well. And this is the finished product. Okay, this is what I brought for lunch. I'm about to start making it, but you're watching this in my workday time. I love making my own version of a taco bowl. You can even add rice to this if you'd like. I personally am not. This equals four of my lunch meals. I only meal prep for four days and then the other day I'll either bring something else or I'll eat out. Just depends. So it's going to be ground turkey, black beans. I get the avocado just individually packaged like this. Tomatoes, roasted corn. This from Trader Joe's is so good and then baby spinach. So I keep the baby spinach and the tomatoes and the guac obviously separate, and then I put together the turkey, black beans, and corn in one container, so that way I can just easily heat it up in the microwave. And then these on the side, I'll add some of these chips. These are Christian and I's favorite chips and favorite flavor, the nacho flavor. It's so good, you don't even think about how they're dairy-free. This is one of my favorite lunches recently, so definitely try it. Also, let me know if you have any go-to work meals or meal prep meals 
that you use and love, leave them in the comments down below because I love switching things up. So let me know some of your go-to meal prep meals in the comments down below. This is the finished product of what my meal prepped lunch looks like. It's really, really good. Now I am having a snack that I have towards the end of my work day to eat before I get home to fuel myself before my workout. So I am eating the Susie's Thin Cakes with a Laughing Cow Cheese. The spicy pepper jack flavor is my absolute favorite. This is one of my favorite snacks to have. It is so good. It doesn't look appetizing, but I promise it is so good. Now that I am home, I'm going to have some liquid IV that I sip on during my workout. I've been doing this for a while now and I love the lemon lime flavor. It's so good and it really hydrates you. Now that I'm done with my workout, I am having one of these protein shakes. I love these. They have really good ingredients, added benefits, high fiber, high protein, and low sugar. My favorite flavor is the cookies and cream, but today I am having vanilla. Now I'm going to show you what we're having for dinner. It is Costco chicken thighs that come packaged up for you. We buy all of our chicken breasts and chicken thighs from Costco and they come vacuum sealed. I'll show you. This is how it comes. It already comes vacuum sealed so you can just throw it in the freezer. Messy <laughs> freezer full of stuff. That way it stays fresh and then also if you pull it out of the freezer it stays fresh for longer in the fridge. Also, it doesn't get freezer burn because it's like vacuum sealed. So I just have the chicken thighs in here. They've been marinating since I got home. It's probably about two hours now. They've been marinating in this Trader Joe's soyaki. They also have another one that we use and love as well. It's the Island Soyaki. So I love both of these. I just wanted to use this one up because it is about to expire, honestly. So I used this and then I have a little drop that I'm gonna put on the broccoli that we air fry in the air fryer. I'm ending the day with one of the easiest ways that I could find to take apple cider vinegar. I used to do this when I first started drinking apple cider vinegar and I discovered ginger aid kombucha in college. And when I was trying to incorporate apple cider vinegar into like my everyday, I've never tried the gummies. I just prefer to drink it out of the bottle because I can actually do that and it's not that bad. This bottle is cheaper than buying a package of gummies, and this is 
63 servings. What I first started off doing was basically taking half of this ginger ale kombucha and doing like a tablespoon or two into the glass just to completely get rid of the flavor. Now I just take a shot glass and I fill half with ginger ale kombucha and half with apple cider vinegar and it's just goes down really quick and it's easy and you don't even have to sit there and sip on it. And this is what it looks like.